Hey everybody, Teresa Sigmund here. Happy New Year from Chelan, Washington, which is what's behind me, Lake Chelan. Is this not gorgeous? I've been here about three days now, I think, and I'm going to stay for several months. So I decided that after 10 months of traveling around the country, I was gonna stay put for a little bit. So if you did not watch the five month <laughs> update, go ahead and tune in and catch up on what I did for the first five or six months of traveling around. After I left Arizona, I went back to the Southern California desert. My park ranger friend and I had an amazing road trip up to Devil's Post Pile, and then we got to go kayak on Mono Lake, which was an absolutely amazing experience. It was all, it's a salt water, so it was really buoyant and just really f fantastic. Um, probably the craziest thing about that particular journey is that we were sleeping in the back of his pickup truck and there was a torrential downpour. <laughs> it was crazy. So we put Sophie, the cat, in the front of the cab so that she would be safe and protected and we didn't have to worry about her running out if we got up to go out to the, go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. <laughs> so anyway, it was it was fantastic. We survived all the thunder and lightning and then the following day turned out to be beautiful and we got to watch all this snow come in on the backside of Yosemite National Park. So it was really fantastic. And then I went to see Rhonda again, got to see her for a little bit, just a couple of days and kept on working my way up. Went to Grass Valley and stopped and spent a couple of days with my friend and mentor, Barry Friedman. He runs sugar-free 30 days, or is it 30 days sugar-free? Oh. <laughs> and Showbiz Blueprint. So he is quite the success online and I got some great tips Filmed my first Facebook live video and I hope to be able to do more of that this year. I drove through the burn zone um, going in the Mount Shasta area and it was just really devastating. I mean the fire, I don't know if there were two fires or if the fire was so big that it jumped a multiple lane interstate, but it was devastating kept going up into Klamath Falls, Oregon. I had never been there. I crossed there on the exact first day of the ninth month <laughs> and went to Crater Lake National Park. Just only spent a little bit of time there and headed down the hill to actually go camping and it was freezing cold. Speaking of freezing cold, it's actually warming up a little bit with the sun out. It's now um, about 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius, so it's not too bad. Uh, let's see here. After I left Crater Lake, then where did I go? Went up to Puget Sound, had some beautiful times there, got to see Mount Rainier. I'll flash you a bunch of pictures here. It's so gorgeous there. While I was up at Puget Sound visiting Bob and Carolyn, I got a call from my fire support family to see if I could go work at the campfire down in Chico. Now the campfire was the really big devastating fire that burned the town of Paradise. So I said, of course, yes, I would go. And I drove down there, ended up being there two weeks. I posted a quite a lot of live videos, just walk and talk as I was going through the camp. So I'll give you the links to those. And if you have not read the blogs for the fire camps I worked in 2017, yeah, <laughs> then go ahead and watch those. And wow, what after that? Winter's coming on, so it's hard to camp when it's so cold. So I thought, all right, what am I gonna do? So I got a really awesome dog sitting gig in Spokane, Washington. Adorable. I had a great time. It was beautiful. We just, we could go out and go hiking on the trails, the dogs and I. It was fantastic. And then as I was going from dog sitting in Spokane, driving into dog sitting in Seattle, I passed this beautiful area of the Wenatchee Valley. And that is how I discovered this location. So that's pretty much the last three or four months for me, but I have this whole time, of course, been working on So Like a Pro, and I have a lot of really awesome videos to get out for you. I'm super excited about that. 
But that is it. That's the update. Happy New Year to you all. I would love to hear from you to know what you've been up to over the last few months or what excitement you have planned coming up soon. Oh, one of the really exciting things is So Like a Pro is going to open for its for enrollment in February of this year, February 2019. So I am working behind the scenes on that. And there is so much. And I love the fact that I have been able to combine this last 10 months work and pleasure and it's really awesome. I think the Europeans and the Australians have it right and Americans, we have such an imbalance and I feel so much um, better, so much happier and healthy or more enthused about everything. And I'm just super excited to share with all of you, my So Like a Pro followers. That's it. Talk to you later. Bye.